which one of Charles started way back last year, December, after our strategic meeting to plan, we decided that there was need for us to collaborate with the Minister of Education, Lagos State. What we did was to send our information bulletin around Lagos schools, so long they are within primary and secondary. I believe very much in mentoring, mentoring, whether on a one-on-one -on -one basis or simply by throwing the field open and actually exploring uh, hitherto unexplored areas for latent talent, and not merely in institutions, but in the, what I call the informal schools, because very often you find really gifted artists uh, in all the various disciplines. Uh, among the uninstitutionalized. So they are invited here, together with others, to show their pieces along a set theme. There was a topic that was uh, earlier um, enclosed in an envelope and deposited at Diamond Bank eight months earlier. That was July 25, 2012. We were at Diamond Bank to say thank you for uh, the sponsorship for the 2012 edition. None of us, not even anybody working in our office, knew the title of that of, of this year's uh, competition. When investing. In the, um, in the future, in the future diamonds, in the future customers of diamond bags, and in the future we have people who are going to buy kids. So we're ensuring that they are well equipped right, to, to have sustainable future, sustainable jobs, and uh, create and add to a sustainable um, labor state. The third phase started with invitation letter to the finalists on the 20 uh, of March 2013. We had the kids painting live. was physically present and of course for those people that were there when this was going on we know that kids in Nigeria should be had African child should be had I saw a lot I saw a mind of a child interpreting Nigeria and you know I don't know I don't know how many home that you can call a child of 8 and 12 years to tell us what is happening in Nigeria this is oil bunkering they are stealing oil from pipelines. Okay. My painting is about 
how Nigeria can be bad. That there's Boko Haram bombing of churches, kidnapping of people to collect money, and killing of people for rituals. The way the leaders, or our leaders, our Nigerian leaders, are putting hands in our money, are eating our money, and put, leaving us in darkness, instead of using the money to like enlighten us. This is the Nigerian police officer connecting my from the driver, and this is the senior officer directing them. Then I now divided it in two sections. The first one is an amber who came to someone's house to steal his money and he had no choice to give him money, like his money or his life. And the other one, like a recent c c crime that just took place, a man stole our pension money. So the pension savings in the box, it was meant to go into another box where the, after the year or after a month, people come and use the money for the pension, the, the sick, the needy and the old. But, but unfortunately, two men came to come and steal the pension money. My painting is about corruption. Government, government promise things that they won't fulfill our promises. And it's not good. Okay. So these are sad faces, people crying because of government, because of corruption. And so we decided to move from the adult competition to children's competition. Yes, Aliba Khan is a very good student in the arts. Because uh, I remember when I met uh, his mother the first time he came, he came to the school. She told me that this child is very good uh, in art, that you please monitor him by putting him through so that he can be successful in it. And I've been doing that for some time now. The boy displayed a lot of intelligence. He was very excited too. He came up with a lot of ideas that eventually formed uh, the concepts that he executed during the art competition. Um, he too is equally good because I've seen several times in the classroom trying to make some imaginative drawings and so on. I said, ah, this guy will be very good. So when the competition came up, I informed him and said, make sure you take part in this competition. And he did it, and I'm proud that uh, he is one of the finalists in the competition. That is Honorable Hositode Mosix, who gave dogs in that ASICS the opportunity to be aware of this competition. Because last year's own, we did not hear anything about it at all. But this year, he sponsored almost 55 students from that ASICS. And out of that 55, six were picked. I say that this year's competition will be a very great one when. The result comes out anyway. I was happy when I was called part of the first 32 people in Lagos State. I'm very excited and I went for the finals and I hope I win. I'm not a judge, but I saw paintings. If I'm to pick, I'll probably pick like 12. I wouldn't have been able to pick six. It's very impossible because there are a lot, they interpreted Niger Delta, they interpreted Bunny of the Church's Mosque, they interpreted the Northern Saga, they interpreted the politician in Nigeria, they interviewed the judges, aviation industry. So happy when my teacher told me to start practicing how to draw or paint. Um, I took, I've been to some, some competition, but it's not about art. The competition was great, I felt good. I believe I can win this competition. When my art teacher told me that I'm going to represent the school, I felt happy. The concept of what I drew is about corruption. Corruption is when people, people steal and other people cry because people have still stolen their money. And corruption mainly is in Nigeria. I want us to stop corruption, stop stealing. If I, if I can make the world, if I can stop corruption, I will stop corruption because corruption is no good and, and, also, and also it makes people cry because they won't have money to maybe feed their children, pay their children's school fees, get enough food stocks for them, for their family, and some other things.